Hi, I'm Julie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm canning some pineapple. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you saw where I bought some pineapple on sale for a dollar each. So we bought quite a few and I brought them home and they've been sitting for a little bit just so that they'd ripen a little bit more. They weren't quite as ripe as I wanted them. So so now I'm just getting my stuff ready to can and I thought I'd bring you along. So let me show you what I have. All right, I have four pineapples cut up, four whole pineapples. I do have more, but this is as much as this bowl would hold. So I'm just gonna do them in batches. And over here I have my jars. They've all been sanitized. And once they've been sanitized, I put them on a tray and hold them in the oven at 220 until I'm ready to use them. That way they stay nice and hot. And in here I have my syrup. That is not butter. My husband thought it was butter. These are the cores to the pineapple. And this is how I sweeten my syrup that I put in the jars because I don't use regular sugar. I just use the cores to the pineapple. And I let that boil for a while, just kind of simmer in there, just to give that sweetness to um, the water, the syrup, so that I can pour it in and not use regular sugar. To get started, I need to peel my pineapple. First thing I do is I slice off the top and I slice off the bottom. This gives me a nice flat surface to hold the pineapple while I'm peeling the outside. Now you need a really sharp knife and just go down the sides and peel it. You just kind of want to conform to the curve of the pineapple a little bit. And don't worry about being nitpicky and getting all those little tiny little marks off. If you have a couple, which I do, it's not going to be a problem. Just get off what you can without taking too much of the fruit itself. Then I'm going to set it up on its end and cut down the sides, avoiding the, the core. I just want to keep the core separate. The core is just a little bit more fibery and a little bit tougher. You can use it in smoothies. You can use it to feed to your chickens, although you want to be cautious. You don't want to feed them too much pineapple. And then I'm going to take what I cut off and I'm going to cut it into chunks. The size of the chunks doesn't really matter. It's whatever you want for you. You can cut it into sticks if you want sticks. Um, you can cut it into rings if you want rings. I just didn't have one of those uh, tools that can kind of go down the pineapple to make sure that you get the rings. So I always just cut them in chunks. And I find chunks for us, it works. We can use them just as easily when baking a ham. We can put it on uh, pizza, make shish kebabs in the summer. There are a lot of options. Now, we can't forget about the core. That is what I'm going to use to sweeten the syrup for my pineapple. This way, I'm not using regular sugar, and I love that. Just take the core, drop it in the water, and there you have it. All right, so what I'm doing is packing the jars with my pineapple. I'm just gonna put those in there and pack them pretty tight because if you don't, they're gonna float and you're gonna have dead space in the bottom of your jar once it's been canned. So I like to pack them as full as I can get them. without destroying my pineapple. <laughs> okay. All right, I have some of these jars filled. There's, um, 10 of them. So four pineapples did 10 jars. That's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is fill the jars with the syrup. Now I have a um, skewer. This is the fancy way of me doing this. You can I don't know if you can see this or not. 
I am just taking the skewer and just kind of making sure that there are no bubbles. Air pockets. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure there are no air pockets in here. So I just take this down the sides through the middle and move things around, just kind of shuffle things without stabbing the pineapple. If there's any um, pockets of air, you'll see the water settle, so you will need to add more as it settles. This one is good. I've got just enough water. I'm going to wipe the jar top. Put my lid on and my ring. And you just want to finger tighten that. And this is hot, so just finger tighten. Okay. And that is ready to go into the canner. So I'm going to move that one aside until I'm ready to put it in the canner and do the next one. A little bit too much liquid in this one. Let's see if we can pull that down. See all those bubbles? When I put that in there, see those bubbles coming up? It's all releasing air, the air pockets down inside the jar. I don't know if you, that shows up well. See that? That's why it's important for you to go through the jar and make sure there's no air pockets. And again, we want to make sure that we get this edge of the jar completely cleaned off from anything that would be on there. If you don't, your jar is not going to seal well. Put this on there and Again, we are going to finger tighten, and that's it. Oh, those are hot. We're going to put this over here, and on with the next one. We're going to continue doing this until we get through all of these jars, and then we're going to repeat all over again, getting our pineapple peeled and chopped and ready to can. This is not really hard. It's not rocket science if you've never done this before. Um, it's quite an easy process. It's just a long process. You know, it takes time and you want to make sure that you're taking the time to do it right. You don't, um, you don't want to leave air in here. You don't want to skip this step for sure. You want to make sure that you get all of those pockets of air out and they do sell a tool that does this what I'm doing but I don't have the tool okay now this one needs a little bit more water because it's settled down quite a bit Let's see if we can get it in there without making a mess I'm gonna check it again And that is good. So we're going to wipe the top off again. Get all clean. Put the lid on and just finger tighten your rim, your ring. I did put these in my water bath canner. They're going to boil for their pints, so they'll boil for 15 minutes. I have one lonely guy sitting here on the counter. This fit nine. I could have stacked them because I have a thing where I can do that, but I'm not going to. I also added more water to um, my syrup pot, and I'm going to be adding more 
cores as well. As I cut more pineapple up, more cores will go in. And I'm gonna bring this, every time I add more water, I'm gonna bring it to um, a boil and then simmer it for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Right now, um, I'm gonna get back to peeling and cutting up more pineapple. Just took the cover off the timer went off that was set for 15 minutes and I'm going to let it sit for five to ten minutes before I take the jars out now it's time to remove our jars from the canner I do use a mitt in one of my hands just to kind of put underneath the jar as I lift it and bring it out. I've dropped my jar before because I didn't have a good hold on it, so I've learned my lesson. I kind of guide with the other one. So removing those, putting it on a towel-lined countertop, you do want to have something underneath of these jars as they set. And when you set them out, you're going to leave them here for at least 24 hours undisturbed. So wherever it is you put them, you wanna make sure they're in a place that you are going to have free for 24 hours, not a place that um, is gonna be busy and you're gonna to have to move your jars. So you just something to think about. And don't worry about getting all, you know, tipping your jars to get the liquid off the top. You don't need to do that. They're going to seal. You don't want to tip your jars. Just bring them straight out and put them straight onto the cloth. Now we have one batch down and one more batch to go. So let's get that into the canner. Now that we have part of the second batch in, I'm going to let that come to a boil and boil it again for 15 more minutes. Uh, last four jars are in the canner and look at these. I will have 22 jars of golden goodness. Now I still have five pineapple left. So I'm not sure how many that's going to make because the first four pineapples did 10 jars and the second four pineapples did 12 jars so I don't know what the next five pineapples are going to do but I know I'm going to have a lot of pineapple all canned um, for whatever we need it for. You can make muffins, you can make cakes, um, stir fries, put it on pizza, uh, we like shish kebabs. There's so many different ways that you can use this and it's delicious so I would encourage you to shop inside the store because you never know when they're going to have a manager special and they're unadvertised so you want to be sure you are shopping inside so you can get these deals not miss out on them uh, this one did not last long we have we live near an Amish community and they pretty much bought out what was there so we were fortunate to get what we did and I'm telling you, if they have more, I'm going to get more and uh, do a few more because they're always nice to share too. So I want to thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time. <music>